glad to see Mila. Oh my gosh, how long has it been since I made a car video? It has been quite a while, hasn't it? So I had to make a video to talk about my self-sabotaging ways. So this weekend, hold on, because I know my phone is going to fall, because it always falls. Um, so, this weekend, I saw the lowest weight that I've ever in my whole life seen. I started my journey back at 292 pounds a year ago, and this weekend I was 175 pounds. So that's about 117 pounds. <laughs> so I've almost lost 120 pounds in a year. Well, I had to come back to work today, and um, I'm not happy at my job, and I'm not going to ramble about that, but I'm not happy at my job. And a big part of the reason why I struggle so much with emotional eating is because I'm at a job that I'm not happy at, and I tend to get up from my area a lot, and I get up and I go graze candy dishes, snack tables, etc., etc. So I came back to work today to find a huge cookie jar full of peanut butter Oreos. For those of you guys that have been following me and those of you that know me, there are two problems in my life that I face, and that is Oreos and peanut butter. So the best of the both worlds collided, and I had peanut butter Oreos, a full cookie jar full of peanut butter Oreos. And there's a background story to that. But anyway, the point is that this morning I was fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. So I ended up having to run an errand at lunchtime, and when I went... When I was leaving the building, I saw um, on a snack table these two, or these two, I saw a cookie tray full of those Loft House soft baked cookies. So what I do, I grab two. So basically all morning I fought the peanut butter Oreos that were in my cookie jar in my office, and I go and I get these two cookies. And I eat them super fast because the faster you eat them, the quicker they're gone, the quicker you don't have to see them, and you think that the guilt is going to be less. So I run my errand, I come back, I have my lunch, I tell myself that was wrong, that was disgusting, I shouldn't have done that, sorry guys, I shouldn't have done that, blah, 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 blah whatever, whatever. So what do I end up doing? Maybe two hours later, I get into the Oreos. And I don't just have one, I don't just have two, I don't just have three. Ten. Ten Oreos. Ten. Ten. Each Oreo is like 70 calories. Yep. I did that. I don't know why. I have this all or nothing personality. Why am I doing this? I am 20 something pounds away from goal. I... And here I am doing this. I don't understand it. And then the sad part is that I was so sick afterwards. Sick of guilt, sick with the emotion, sick of the sugar. I don't understand why I do this to myself. I'm so disappointed in myself. It's not even about being hard on myself. Like, it's bad enough I had the two soft cookies. They're like 160 calories each. Fine, whatever, no big deal. But then I go and I have 10 Oreos. Why fight it? Like, whole oh, for some reason. Why fight it if you're just going to end up doing it worse? And that's my problem. That I well, I tell myself, don't, 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 don't. And then I binge off the stuff. Why can't I just tell myself, like, you're going to give in eventually. So at least do it the right way. Do it healthy. Healthily. Which I don't understand why I struggle so hard with balance. And I understand that it's a progress, and I say it all the time. Progress will never resemble anything close to perfection. But why can't I find a common ground? Why must I constantly do all or nothing? Like, who does that? Who gets to their lowest weight and is super excited that in a month they lost 10 pounds and goes and does that with Oreos? I have a serious problem. 
I have a serious problem, and it's not even physical anymore. At this point, it's all mental. Oh, it's been mental from the get-go, but I am hindering myself. I'm hindering my journey, and something has to give. Like, something has to give. I don't know what to do. I really, really don't. I'm so mad at myself. And, you know, two weeks ago, I had had a run-in with a pack of Oreos, and I ate pretty much the whole pack of Oreos throughout the whole week. And the only saving grace that I had was the fact that I ran. And it's like, don't get me wrong, I'm thankful that I maintained. I think I had lost like eight ounces that week or whatever. I maintained, but how much more wouldn't I have lost if I wouldn't have done that? Why can't I just have two Oreos? Why do I have to have ten? Like the magic number is always ten. And that's fine if one day you want to have ten Oreos, but when it keeps carrying on, I got the cookie jar, I put it on the snack table, the break area, and the people at my office went to town because they can't see anything on the snack table without going to town. I'm just so disappointed in myself. I'm ranting and raving. I will most likely not post this video. Yeah, get your crap together. Stop eating Oreos. Stop eating peanut butter. You obviously have a problem. Stop doing it. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm never gonna get this. Like, I'm never gonna get this right. I'm never gonna get it. I'm always gonna be dealing with the same problem. I have no balance, and I don't know how to bring in that balance. Anyway, I've rambled, I've yelled. I'm sure other drivers around me are looking at me like I'm crazy. I am changed to go to the gym. I'm drinking my pre workout because. I plan on getting a really good workout in because that is the only thing that is going to save my butt today. <sighs> Peanut butter and Oreos. Oh my God, it's the devil's food. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Everyone out there that is in the in the peak of, of everything, the storm, I've been praying for you all day. My loves. I hope you guys are doing fine. I hope you guys make it through. I know that there's bigger issues out there than peanut butter and Oreos. So just know that you're in my purse. I love you. Take care. God bless. Bye, guys.